Hi and thanks for joining me. In today's video we're going to talk about the use of Google Drawings to create digital badges. Now if you've been following the trends over the past several years regarding gamification, you may know a little bit about digital badges. I recently started using digital badges with online professional development as a reward for teachers who want something to show that they completed a course. So in doing so, I used Google Drawings to create those badges. As you can see here, I've created several uh, and we're gonna be creating more in the future, but I just wanted to take a moment and show people how to use Google Drawings to create those badges. Um, so first you'll need to be in Google Drive. That's at drive.google.com. And we'll go to the new menu and go to more and choose Google Drawings. And Google Drawings, if you're not familiar with it, it's a fairly robust program, similar to what you might have been used to in the past as far as paint on, on some computers. But Google Drawings is, to me, it's great because uh, I can take my images with me in Google Drive, uh, plus um, it gives me a little bit more freedom, it's easier to use, and I can export um, my images as ping files or JPEGs. But for what we're doing today, I'm going to make a small enough image that it can be used as a badge, but it can be resized smaller if need be. So remember, you, you can always go smaller, but it's kind of hard to start small and go bigger. So keep that in mind as you create your badge. I'm going to go to the File menu and go to Page Setup. And here where it says Standard 4 to 3, I can change that to a Custom View and go from Inches to Pixels. And in this case, I'm going to choose I typically choose about 200 by 200. I found that what works best for me is somewhere by about 192 by 192. That translates to about two inches by two inches um, when you get it done. And like I said, it's much easier to go big to start with and then people can resize their icons smaller than the reverse. So um, I'm gonna click OK and there's my field for my badge. And since a lot of people are going to be putting this badge in their signature line on their email to show it off, or possibly on a blog um, or a teacher web page, you'll want to make sure that the background surrounding the badge is transparent. So to do that, you just right click and choose background. And you've got all these colors that you can choose from, but what we want is transparent and you can't see it or you know know it from looking at it right here but trust me it is transparent and so I'll show you that a little bit more later after we've exported it so then from here I'm gonna choose a shape for my badge I typically will go up to the shapes menu and I'll choose an octagon for the badges I use but you know there's lots of creative freedom that you can use when making these um, and there's all sorts of different types of shapes that you can use inside Google Drawings, or you can just freehand your own shape or import it from somewhere else. In this case, like I said, I use an octagon, so I'm gonna draw it so that it takes up most of our field of view, but I'm gonna leave enough space around it so I can also kind of create a drop shadow effect. So there's my shape, and I'm gonna add some color to that shape. I'm gonna choose sort of a dark background, and you can choose to do whatever you want, obviously. Um, if you know a lot about hex values, you can go to Google and find hex values for almost any color you want. And then if you want to put in a custom color, you just go to the fill tool, go to custom, and then you can put in your hex values right there. Next, what I want to do is add some images to my badge so that people can show what they've learned. And in this case, I'll often put in my Techie Coach uh, icon so that people can show that they've taken a course from the Techie Coach. And that is in my Google Drive. So I'll look that up, and there it is. And of course it does look a little bit blurred here, but once I resize it, and then once this is viewed um, on the web, you'll be able to see that it's, it's a lot, it looks a lot better, it takes on a better appearance when we see it. Because right now, even though this is a two inch by two inch logo or badge, we have blown it up so that we can work with this uh, area on the screen. Now, like I said, you want to show uh, on the badge something that they learned. In this case, we're doing a lot of Google classes for teachers so that they can get more comfortable with Google tools as their students are using Chromebooks in the classroom. So um, one of my courses that I might have done would have been on Google Drive. So I'm going to go up to the Insert Image tool and do a search, and we're going to look for a Google Drive logo. 
and of course we'll insert that and we'll need to resize it a little bit so that it fits on our badge and then we're going to right click and I'm going to move him to the back a little bit and of course like I said you want to let people show off what they've learned so we need to tell what this badge is for and so we'll go up to the text tool and we'll throw in a text box here and whatever text I add uh, granted this is a tiny badge uh, so we'll want to make sure that the font's a little small we're going to start at six and we'll go up from there and I'm going to go up to the alignment tool and center our text both horizontally and vertically and I'm going to go ahead and type in here what it's for this is, this is a badge for Google Drive power users now that font is a little bit small so now we can make it a little bit larger and I'm going to change the font to something a little bit different uh, still a little bit small so let's, let's bring it to about 10 and since this is a dark background um, rather than having black text on a dark background I'm going to change this font color to white so that it pops a little bit on the badge and there we have it um, now a couple of other things that you can do to dress up uh, your your badge uh, like I said you can add a drop shadow to the badge so to do that what I usually do is I'll I'll highlight the shape right click on the shape and hit copy and then I'll paste it and so we've got an exact replica of that shape and I'm going to fill that with a dark gray and a dark gray outline. Then I'll right click and change the order so it sends that shape to the back. And there we've got somewhat of a little drop shadow effect for the badge and we can move it around here. Now if that's not dark enough we can always take the, the darkness down a little bit. Um, but it, it, you know, it looks like it's got a bit of a drop shadow there. Let's make that a little bit darker. You can also do the same with your text. If I click on the text box and right click and copy that and then also paste it just as we did with the shape, then I can change the font on this text so that it's black and then move it around so that it is just a little bit offset from the white text. Right click and send it backward and now it looks like our white text has a little bit of a shadow as well. So we're done with our badge. But before I can send this to people, I want to put it in a format that they can use. And like I said, ping files usually show up better on the web. And since people will be putting this in their signature line or on their web page, I'm going to use a ping file. And so before I can download this as a ping file, I need to name it. So I'll go up to the untitled drawing file name and change that to Google Drive Badge Power User. Then go to the file menu and hit download as ping file. And of course it's downloading it right here. And let's go ahead and open that up and see what it looks like. So if I go to the bottom on my downloads bar and double click, you can see there's our badge in our viewer and you can see it is a little bit small but it's just about the right size and if somebody needed to resize that and make it a little bit smaller they can but now we have a digital badge that we can award for uh, an online course well hopefully this gives you some ideas of something to work with uh, remember as you're creating badges make sure that you're obeying copyright and make sure that you add a transparent background to the badge and just have fun creating them and if you ever have any questions, just go to techiecoach.com and submit the online form and we'll get back to you. Thanks for joining us.